Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I don't even want to talk about today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my favourite TikToks. If you happy, you know what bounce that is. If you happy, you know what bounce that is. I may just add my For You page is extremely weird. Getting us... Me, I just love how that's how we start off this video. We just let a woman literally vomit her inside. So keep in mind that was in live television. I'm not taking the mickey whenever I hear a burp. I actually giggle like I can't stop laughing. I feel like people aren't gonna understand that, so let me explain. You know whenever someone's like relative dies and they put like a photo of them in Facebook, they use like a photo where they already look dead. I know that's like bad and I probably shouldn't say it. But you know, if I ever died, I would want someone to use like a really nice photo of me where I look really nice. Not a photo where I already look like I'm decomposing. <laughs> they always use this exact staircase, but like the granny looks dead already. I mean, look, you can do whatever you want, but I don't need to see a dead granny. This video might look very innocent. Like there's two cute, dogs playing. Get ready because something weird happens. Just look at the way they're playing and then get ready it's coming. Yep, and that was it. I mean, dogs low key scare me because, like, my dog would always hunt me. My dog is in the humanality. Also, keep in mind that's what social media influencer like events are like. If you've ever went to VidCon or Sitsy, just know that the influencers get up to that behind the stage. Okay, so apparently she got that part of her granny to die. I don't want to know what your granny was doing. Was she literally, like, running around the house giggling? Am I the only one who thinks that parrots are, like, really evil? Like, there's something sinister about them. It's the fact that they could literally talk. Imagine you walk up to your parent and tells you to fuck off. <laughs> this poor mom. Whose mom is that? Like, whose actual mom is that? That woman literally spewed her insides out like stew and fell on her bum. Nah, I'm not taking the mickey whenever she felt something deaf who snapped. Get out the car! Get out of the doing? car! <laughs> oh, you think what I'm you doing? What's she doing? You think I can't do, do it? You know her? Oh, no. Do you think I can't do it? I don't give a fuck what you do, no, love. Just get the don't. fuck out well, of the way. Keep your mouth. Go. Forget Grand Theft Auto, more like Grand Theft Auto. Now, I'm not taking the Mickey. That's what actually scares me about old people. They look like they're dying, but she just hops up like that. Where is she from? Like, we need to watch that again. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. <laughs> oh, you think you it's the fact that she literally grabs and she's like, you think I'm having a giggle? Also, I've just noticed I low-key look good, except for the fact I literally have a ball cut. <laughs> I kind of do agree with that kid. Like, them little babies, they irritate me. Obviously, like, I understand why you have them, but they just make noise. If that was an actual real baby, I'd smash its head in the curb. I'm obsessed with these videos. Like, I love these videos. Do you want to know what is so funny about it? It's the fact that he's literally hopping over a little bird. He just adds, like, effects. That, that kid's got swag. Okay, so I feel like I need to explain this next video. Basically, this man met Alan Carr, you know, the comedian. Alan Carr thinks he's going in for food. But this guy just randomly starts to rap and it's honestly the funniest thing ever. Depression, anxiety, loneliness, intimidation, intimidation. Look at the way he just shakes his head. Unity, community, ability, mentality, creativity, painting, naming, shaming, gaming, abuse. I mean, like, he's a good rapper, but look at the way Alan's just looking at him. He's like, what is going on here? Something about that video is just so funny. It's the fact that he was literally giving a thumbs up and then he just starts rapping and Alan's like, yeah. Imagine if that happened to you. What would you actually do? Like, I would not be able to compose myself and laugh. That's a child. Where do people find kids like that in the Meagle? Like, whenever I'm on the Meagle, I just find creepy men. I want to come across a sassy kid. Here's a little PSA. Do you have an Meagle video coming next week? And it is a video where I flirt with a load of men and they do want to bang me. But what tags you go under? Like, I need to find them kids in the Meagle. Oh, look at the way they pull the tongue. Something about that video is just like chaotic, but I low key love it. What is that? Is that like a sex doll or is it like a wee doll you get CPR to? This sounds really bad, but you know that we CPR dolls. One time I farted in its mouth. Who's your fucking queen, bitch? Just so you know. Who's your queen? I am your king. 
Okay, so I feel like yet again, I need to explain this video. Basically, there's this really weird couple in TikTok, and like, I don't know how to describe it, they're just weird. They've obviously got like a power kink or something like that, where like one of them's more powerful, mainly the woman. But the video is just so iconic. Tell the fucking world who you f you did you just fart? Bish. I'm the farter, not you. Who's your queen? Hey. Who's your queen? You're a king. Come here. Cannot do any wrong. Fuck off. And it's just such a random video. That's like the schizophrenic couple who be in like the care room talking to each other. And that is gonna be me one day. So you're telling me this is not a skinwalker? Look at that. That is a skinwalker! That dog has either been through hell or it's a skinwalker. Who is we talk about this? Like some dogs actually look really human like. <laughs> I came across a dog in Amigo, which is gonna be in next week's video. It was a human that could have human eyes. I've never wanted to sniff a fat so much in my life. Honestly, me too. He's literally me. Like, that's actually me. Also, whenever I laugh at these people, I'm not trying to be mean because, like, I literally am them. <laughs> I don't know why, but Nigel Farage scares the shit out of me. Am I the only one who thinks he looks? He looks like Pepe the Frog. <gasps> I think it's the fact he's got like a big turkey neck, like you know, old Granny's how he got like the big turkey jiggly neck. Nigel Farage is a reptile. <laughs> He posted this video and it was randomly upside down. That man is just weird. Look at the way his mouth moves. I don't know why, but he's either a boomer or he's really evil. There's something about him that's scary. I don't go near people like that because they genuinely freak me out. Babe. Yeah? Stop it, babe. <laughs> babe, stop it. Sorry. That is literally me. Like, that is me with my best friend Marina. I do this thing where I fart my mum's face 24 7. Thinking about it now, I'm actually surprised my mum has it, like, literally shot me. But I'm telling you, whenever I move to London, oh, Marina, you're getting it. Your side whether we should be Fuck around the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Diana is so funny. Like, she doesn't mean to be funny. She just unintentionally is. It's just her reaction. Like, she just looks and, like, her eyes, like, widen. That woman looked like she'd seen a ghost. Look at this again. Fuck her eye pussy. <laughs> Look at her eyes. And she just smirks. I'm sorry about that. I don't really get about that. Honestly, that woman gets it hard from the media, but she is a British icon. We need to get rid of the queen and put Diana up as queen. If I ever go past the house and I hear a dog screaming its lungs off, I want to go in and shit the dog. I know that seems mean, but I want to go in, skin it, turn it into like a Gucci. I don't even know, like a Gucci row. Dogs that make too much noise genuinely piss me off. Like if you actually leave your dog inside your house 24 seven and leave that thing to scream all day long, you should be put into capital punishment. We need to bring back the death penalty. Oh honey, the first time I met a power top, that's exactly how he pulled me open, exactly. I'll never forget that day. I mean, honestly, he's iconic. I love him. I'm telling you, every single person in this video is literally me. And that's why I love the TikToks. Also, if you want to see me do like a monthly version of this, I have got about 50,000 TikToks saved on my phone, so I'll make this a monthly series. <laughs> These are my favorite types of videos. Oh my god, what's going on there? The bacon teacher's lost the plot. My favorite thing ever is to add like them zombie voices over someone's mouth whenever they open it. I do it all the time in my Amigo videos and you guys actually love it. But like, what is going on with these women? I'm telling you, American women are next pretty crazy. <laughs> Okay, so if you're from the UK, you might recognize this boy. Basically, there's a girl called Elfie and that boy's called Jack. They sing 24-7 like I'm not even kidding. In their apartment, it must be like a karaoke session. But everyone always says he looks like a mini Alan Carr and it really does look like him. He also does look like Holly Jarvis whenever he's singing. Like that mouth of his opens a lot. Yeah! How, how do I find the words to Please smile. Please smile. I mean, I've seen a lot of fan accounts and a lot of Santa accounts before, but I've never seen a fan account for Ant and Dec. You know Ant and Dec, the two funny wee men who are like always on the TV? This woman has like an account dedicated to them. Makes my night and my day. 
I have loved, I have you. loved you for a lifetime. I just love how she's got loads of cardboard cutouts of him. If he's seen this, what would he do? I remember one time someone took a photo of me and then they cut it around and like stuck it in their wardrobe. That was a weird time. Uh. You know how I was talking about Elphabar and Jack? Well, that's the other half. And apparently she was having a bit of a shitty day. Obama wasn't my president, but I sure want to suck his dick. He... <laughs> See, whenever someone stitches a video and laughs like that, like it actually makes my waterworks in my... Do I have a bladder as a woman? Well, basically, I pay myself. It's the fact that the woman's like, blood of that Obama, but I would suck his dick. I bet you Obama sat at home and he's like, what did I have to do with this? Like, why are you talking about me? Was that a good Barack Obama impersonation? I'm telling you, I'm secretly American. Girl, shut the fuck up. You thought you ate <laughs> Obama wasn't my president, but I sure want to suck his dick. Yet again, I just can't get over the fact she's got the big long nose and she's proper rapping. I'm telling you, I was made to be an American girl. Okay, so I'm gonna have to put music over this because it's playing copyrighted music, but I'm obsessed with this woman. Her name is Sashi or Sushi. But look at the way she just butts the move. Sorry, I'm obsessed with her. Oh, she's just such an icon. I love her. I'm telling you, we all need an auntie like her. Like, I actually see a lot of myself in her. She said that she thinks she's autistic, and honestly, I think I might be too. Like, I do need to get a test. I'm not even saying that to be funny. I'm gonna get a test one day. But like something about her is just so iconic. Like I love her. Did somebody order an extra large? Get the fuck out of my room, you fucking idiot. Australian people are so funny. Like I'm not even taking the Mickey. I've been watching Australian comedy recently. Like that Jamie Private Girl. I feel like me and her are low key the same. Like we can relate. I'm gonna do videos like that one day on my channel. Like imagine full on production of Karen. That would either be a nightmare or a dream come true. Uh -huh. Then only my new guilty pleasure is watching Dance Mom edit. I feel like I'm low-key all of the moms like think of it. No one actually watches the program to watch the kids dance. I want to see the moms scrap. Like I actually want to see them tug their hair out. I feel like I'm kind of like Abby, Yolanda and Christy with her eye. Like I am just a shit show. This is so bad, I'm gonna tell you we story time. Whenever I used to be in school, we used to have like a strike system. So if you got a certain amount of strikes in a day, you get a detention. One day I got that amount of strikes and I thought my life was over. You know how whenever you're younger, you do something really small and you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. Like I'm actually not gonna live. Like I'm gonna die. I remember I got my hands and knees and I screamed. And I don't mean scream. I mean like I was actually on my hands and knees proper screaming like a toddler, having a full on tantrum. Saying that my dad beats me. Keep in mind he didn't do that, so I don't know why. I lied. But like I was literally in my hands and knees screaming saying that my dad beats me in front of the teacher. They also didn't like call CPS or Child Protective Services. Much if that was going on, the child's literally said, oh my god, I get wet. And they just ignore it. I had a weird childhood. Play CPR by Cupcake. I couldn't find CPR by Cupcake, but here is other music by Cupcake. Okay, it's good to see the vegan teachers back. Let's see her reaction. I mean, the song's got to do with me, so she ain't gonna be happy about that because she's a freaking crazy vegan. Let's see your sure reaction, like Sunshine. Song. Sounds a bit creepy. Did you literally see the inside of her? Like, the inside of her literally, like, vibrated. I bet you she's never felt a vibration downstairs like that before. I don't know what is up with teachers, but for some reason they love putting their ass in your face. There were so many times when I ever turned around and there was just like a big wide asshole of my teacher. It's actually quite scary. It's like seeing Carmen Winston or like Shamim McBegum stood outside your house. They always had their bums in your face or they always had coffee breath. It's like, sweetheart, get your stinky body away from me. My pronoun. So of course we have he, him, his, himself, and they, them, theirs, themselves. And then we also have voy, 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 void, voids, void self. End, ender, enders, end, ender self. Death, death, deaths, death self. Pix, pixel, pickles, pick, pix, pixel, pixels, pixel self. Vile, vile, vials, vile self. 
Yet again, that is Chronicle 9 Syndrome. I believe in the LGBT community for that. Like, they accept way too many weird and strange things. That's what it's like now. These people actually need to get outside and sniff grass. It's quite scary how there's people like that out there. I feel like we need to do something about it. Karen needs to get them. If you happen, you know what bounce that is. If you happen, you know what bounce that is. You might sit there and say, Connor, that's weird, but I think it's iconic. That woman, I put her on my channel about 50 times, her name's Flossy. She's like 70 or something like that. She is an icon. But like that video really did take me out. I look, you want to create it. Guys, leave a like and subscribe and I will recreate it. Okay, well, that dog might be happy, but I can tell you right now, I am not happy looking at that dog. What in the world was that? That was not a dog. That was like a dinosaur from like 19 BC. That is terrifying. Oh my God, look at that. Like, that actually looks like something you see in like a nightmare. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, that actually would freak me out. That is a jump scare. Obviously, that dog like died. It got in an accident. But I'm not actually having a laugh. What is that? That is something that would freak you out. 